All right, all, and welcome back to the Witch Booker YouTube channel for the day two preview of the Fairy House Easter Festival. What should be an excellent Easter Sunday's worth of action. A couple of grade ones on the card, and I'll be taking you through all the races with a couple of bets to be put up, a few selections for a few of the other races, and a couple of races maybe to just sit back and watch with maybe a pint of beer in hand or maybe a cup of coffee. Today, only two ended up of the main selections. Running Chiricahua was a late non-runner, and of the two, unfortunately, Hearts or Trumps was just outside of the frame in seventh. Uh, we needed him to come in the top five. At 20 to 1, he took a drift in the market. As for Eric Bloodax, uh, was so cruelly denied in second, having been put up at 25 to 1 last night. He went off 10 to 1, and I thought turning in, uh, we were maybe cashing in on a big one there. Unfortunately, ran into one in Bugs Morn, but a good run, and it put us up on the day. Leading over to tomorrow's action, starting off the 2 o'clock maiden hurdle. I don't have a massive say on the race, to be honest. If I was to be pinned for a selection, it might be Distant Chimes, a good staying flat handicapper for Sir Mark Prescott. He made a good uh, reappearance for Henry de Bromhead, having been a while off the the track at Gore last time out and may improve for hurdles. Two miles may be a little bit sharp over hurdles, but I'm, I'd be willing to take that chance. He's around 11 to 4. The 235, though, is the first main selection in the Novices Handicap Hurdle over 2 mile 4. And I love Barry Connell's horse in this Lizer at 8 to 1. I think he's overpriced at that with five places available each way with Paddy Power. And I think. There's an awful lot to like about this horse. Good ground on this course and distance. He won a maiden hurdle last time out by 13 lengths. It wasn't a great maiden hurdle. There's no getting away from that. But he's been reasonably treated off a mark of 114. I think he's uh, right there to go very close. And at 8-1, to one, I think he's overpriced. The 310, the Mayor's Novice Hurdle. A tough race to get a proper handle on. Uh, but I'm going to stick with my guns. And even though going right-handed again, I'm going to take a chance that Brandy Loves may be a little bit better behaved on this occasion. I think she's got all the ability in the world and has the ability to beat these rivals. She's 11-2 to 2 currently, with four places available. She's a strong each-way bet. The 345 race is the rated novices chase over two miles, five furlongs, and this is probably my best bet of the day in Jackson's Gold for Alice Curran and Ian Power. Steadily progressive over fences this year and was a good fifth last time out at Leopardstown. Likes better ground, was a good hurdler last year and was a very close third at this festival last season. So an awful lot going in his favour here. He's well-weighted to run well, especially on his hurdle form and if his jumping can stay intact he'll be right there he's six to one another each way bet the next race on the card, the 420, is the two mile handicap chase. And I really like Buddy Rich in this race. Again, on good ground. Good ground being the key at this festival. He was yanked out of the Grand Annual at a late, uh, late notice. He had a stone bruise in the morning of the race, as did Brandy Love. So, two of my selections were late uh, non runners at Cheltenham. And I'm hoping that they're going to both rock up here fresh and ready to go. Buddy Rich, he likes this course and distance. He likes good ground. He'll be the last off the bridle I'd almost be sure of it just whether he can go on and do it maybe I'm not so sure on that count but at 7-2 to two, I'm willing to take a chance I think he might be a little bit shorter on the morning of the race the 455 grade 1 novices chase I think Gallop and Deschamps will win I think Master McShee will come second I'm not telling you anything you don't need to know no bet race and the 520 the sales bumper if we're struggling into trying to have a bet in that race, we're really in a lot of trouble. An awful lot of unraced horses with plenty of pedigrees going around, plenty of word going about for all of them. I'd steer clear of it myself. If I was pushed for a selection, maybe no looking back at 10-1 to 1 for Ollie McKiernan, the only horse with a bit of form in there, and winning form at that. But it wouldn't be a race I'd have a strong play in. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please do give it a like. Subscribe to the Witch Bookie channel down below as well for more selections coming up, especially in the Irish national this time tomorrow so best of luck with your easter sundays of action hopefully you have a good day land a few bets i'll see you guys very soon best of luck